Hello, hello, it's your friend Double Bite, and this is my 200th video. Woohoo! 26 subscribers, over 2,000 views, 200 videos. It's about 200 videos in a little bit over 300 days, so that's pretty damn good, I think. Back when I started this channel in February, I had no idea if I would stick with it. I assumed I wouldn't. I stick with no hobbies. This is the most lasting hobby I've had in years. So, really, truly, it's been so great to be doing this. I hope you all are still enjoying. Um, and hopefully, let's stick with it and see what 2017 has to offer. My goal for next year is to have 100 subscribers, because when you hit 100... Um, YouTube like lets you have like an actual channel name and stuff and gives you more features as a creator. So that's my goal for next year. Um, I'm assuming I want to hit around an another 200 videos, but really, I just really want to get the, the up to 100 subscribers. Not to like stoke my own ego or something, just because it's like it's a nice landmark. YouTube does give you a lot more ability to do things, and um, they feel really good. So if you know anyone who would think you like my channel um please send them my way um i don't post my video i rarely ever post my videos on facebook i don't try to self-advertise at all people who aren't my friends who have found this channel i don't know how you found it but i'm glad you did <laughs> anyway um so for my 200th video i decided that i kind of wanted to walk everyone through how i make my videos um so for recording, I use this pro free program called OBS. Something something studio? I have no idea what it stands for. Anyway, so it's a very common free tool for recording. And usually what it does is it takes in all of the audio from your computer and the input from your mic and makes them into a video. But there are a couple of weird gotchas when doing this. The biggest one is that it records audio and video into one file. The issue with that is, like let's say I have high background noise, it's going to, I'm not going to have my voice separated out from the video. And that's a really big problem. Every video I do, I have to level the voice and stuff. Um, so, like, that would just be impossible. You can use an alternate program to like record audio or I know some YouTubers have like a, their desktop and then a laptop but what I do is this I've had a trick for it so oh you need to see my background this is not my dog it is a dog from the internet but it is a very good dog this is tripping me out Ooh. anyway so see how this link says multi OBS go to properties at the end of this here, it has a little tag, dash multi. That lets you open up multiple instances. And as you can see here, this one says profile audio, this one says profile video. So profile video, under settings, outputs, mp4 format to vids, and an audio has default desktop, everything else disabled. Note to self, censor out my last name showing up in the video. This is going to be obnoxious. Whatever. Anyway. Then my audio one. Settings. Outputs to audio. Everything's disabled except for the microphone. So video gets the video and the stuff. Audio only gets my voice. And this means I'm making two different videos. The reason that I'm recording the audio as a video is just because that's how OBS is set up. And I have both of these set to the same hotkey. So it's one hotkey, start recording in both windows. One hotkey, stop recording. Now we're setting up, we're adding a new thing for OBS. This isn't an OBS tutorial, but just so you know, this is a game capture feature that works most of the time, especially for most modern games. So what do I do once I have a video? Um, show recordings. So here's my recordings folder. He, this one's the one that's currently recording, I think. And then this is the Kingdom Hearts video I just did. And 
So I open that up. Media, convert, save, add, convert, save, audio mp3, and then page. But anyway, so um, I use VLC to convert it from an mp4 into an mp3. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. It's already um, like a third of the way done. And once I do that, open it up in here. So Audacity is another free program because I'm all about the free. And this is a very commonly used sound editing software. But yeah, so what I use for Audacity mostly is to take out the computer worry um, and the back and sometimes other background noise like if I like slam my table um, that's what I use to get rid of that like where if I bump something but it's pretty much just for my computer hissing once I have all my audio uh, stuff it hit film so is this still recording everything properly yes it is good I'll open this I was about to say, oh, you're gonna see a surprise, and now you realize that you've already seen the surprise most likely, so it's like, whoa. Anyway, so HitFilm 4 Express is a really good um, program for editing video. I was using um, Windows Movie Maker, but like, if you, you can't trim video and audio in Windows Movie Maker, because it will desync them. It's absolutely maddening. So I've been using this for a while now, and it's really good. Um. So yeah, so this is so weird because I'm seeing I'm doing this, but you'll already have seen this. Oh, so I get weird out by the like, weird temporal things like that. Uh, this is this was fun to make. I'm consuming but fun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be making um a title card for this in Photoshop, but I'm not gonna bother like. Showing all that that will that that will take a while and you know not that interesting. But import vids and here's the new Kingdom Hearts video. See, so, yeah, so this is gonna have this. Oh, as you know, it has the title card and then the spoof intro. It's so weird. You know what this video is gonna look like, but I don't yet. I, I'm wigging myself out for no goddamn reason. So let's pop that over there. So prop. So if I'm. So if I click here right now, I click. It's all highlighted. But right now, it's on the audio thing. So we've got the level. Um, which I'll, probably, I'll almost definitely end up lowering. So let me just lower that now. Then if I click video, I get these controls. And now I'm going to scale it. Usually to 118 is the magic number for me. I could probably just output the video at the correct size. But I don't. I don't know why. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm not this game, this isn't really tutorial, this is just me kind of showing showing y'all's plus it's not good enough and that's to do a tutorial, kidding me? There's plenty of good tutorials out there that I did not follow because I like just stumbling aimlessly through life, as you can tell. But yeah, so basically you import media, you can drag it into here. If you want to do overlaying things, like when I do the, you know, X out of 10, um, what's the word? Rankings for a review videos. I just import them as an image, as a transparent image, and then you can make a new video track. You can see there's a, the other audio track here. So I believe that's done. So as we can see here, it's very low. I don't know why my mic picks up doesn't pick up very highly. So what I usually do is do a initial amplify, and then this spikes like this are almost always where I fucked up something. So for some reason Audacity doesn't play through my headphones, so you might be able to hear this, you might not, I don't know. All right, I gotta increase the playback volume. Yeah, that was just a pop. Um, I need to get a pop filter. But that was just a pop from me, like breathing heavily or some shit. So, 
Um, anyway, so we've cut out some of the bigger offenders here. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, that's the same one, did we? So yeah, so now what we do amplify. You can boost up a little bit more. So we've got the amplification down. My current setup doesn't tend to have that much noise in the background, but we reduce noise using this. Okay, now that the noise has been cut out, um, sometimes I've had like distortion appear where there used to be noise, but not really anymore. But I have a noise gate thing for that. So export audio, and then you just HYD clean. And again, the because I'm using the two OBS windows and turning them on with the same key, I don't need to try to sync my audio and my video. They'll always be the same length, which is so nice. Now I have simple and clean stuck in my head. It should be a surprise to absolutely no one. Okay. And now let's just check my volume levels. Let's go find a good action-y part of the video to test. Okay. Jeff and I always used to make this guy out of bionicles. Because they just thought it looked cool. I wonder if it is actually the Cheshire Cat. If the Cheshire Cat's been evil full time or not. Okay, so my, vo my voice is still a little low. It's still a little loud. So I usually end up adjusting the level to about negative 30 decibels. Let's see how that looks, sounds. Oh, okay. I'm still a little quiet in this one, but I'm actually going to try to increase my own level a little bit because this recording just came out really quiet. Yeah, the answer is always ups. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, again, it varies. It's I don't think I'm very consistent with my volume. I don't have like a permanent mic set up, so I'm, it's always in a slightly different position. But I haven't got any complaints about it recently. Whatever. Not recently. I got a couple points once. Anyway. So, now that this is... Again, this is generally all the, edit, all the editing I do. Um, there's going to be like a... I still need to do the little title card before this part. I'm still endlessly entertained by that. Actually, since I'm doing two different sections, I should make sure this isn't that much louder than this. Hmm. So it might be a little bit, so let me just tone down the bubble bobble a touch. Okay. Um, I named this file uh, KH Rect because of the opening montage. All right, I'm getting really tired. I'm sorry, it's 3.30 in the morning. I don't know why I decided to do this now. Well, because I wanted, I wanted to make sure I hit 200 videos like right before the new year. And, like, I don't know what my schedule's like tomorrow. I'm not going over to friends. Um. For New Year's Eve. Whatever. Anyway. Sorry, just zoning out. I'm really tired. So. What I would do next is just export. MP4. Now, YouTube uploads at certain bit rates when they process it. Um. So the higher the bitrate, the higher the quality, but the longer it takes. And the higher the file size. YouTube has certain like limits for video size. So 
for a you know a 720p video, YouTube will only upload it at about five kbs. So this would be way too high settings wise. So when I would be done, I would just move this to five. I move this to six rather. Move this to about eight point five because you want to make it a little higher. And then hit export, and it would be export and upload it to YouTube. So yeah, that's just a quick look at my process. Um, probably a lot of ways I can do it better, but it ends up working out really well for me. I can produce videos pretty quickly. It's easy to edit them, and I think it comes out all right. So if you wanted to try to start recording videos, this is not a horrible place to start, but you should probably like act, do, actually do tutorials and stuff and be less of a derp than me. Okay, uh, ending my 200th video in classic to low light fashion, mumbling incoherently while tired and not knowing what to say. Well, here's looking forward to the next 200. Here's looking forward to 2017 being a less fucking shit year. Till next time, double bite out.